Good afternoon. Once again, I'm Keith Ranford from 7 Eyewitness News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Facebook fugitive Paul Seglia may finally be in police custody. Bloomberg News reporting today that Seglia has been arrested in Ecuador. He made headlines after suing Facebook years ago, claiming that he helped to create the social media site. Seglia and his family vanished in March of 2015, two months before he was set to go on trial on fraud charges. Erie County Executive Mark Polencars is now calling on the New York State Department of Health to immediately put Emerald South Nurse Nursing Home in Buffalo into receivership and they want it managed by another group of owners. Now this comes after a string of incidents at the nursing home. The State Department of Health is currently investigating multiple incidents there. The most recent involves allegations that a former administrator had molested a patient with Alzheimer's. More than 200 butterflies will be released from the Clarence Hollow Farmers Market this weekend. The butterflies will begin their migration south to Mexico. The release begins about 1045 on Saturday morning. It is free and open to the public. On this Thursday now, let's check in with our meteorologist, Donald Lewandowski, and your first alert, most accurate forecast. Temperatures dropping into the 50s tonight, a nice comfortable night once again. We'll have some valley fog early tomorrow morning and then sunshine into the afternoon. We'll eventually see the clouds start to thicken up. It's going to be the high thin cirrus clouds that come in ahead of time. Temperatures over night not going to cool down too much. We're then in the mid 60s. Take a look at our Saturday and Sunday. It's going to feel a lot like summer once again. Sunday temperatures in the lower 80s, some spotty showers around and also the higher humidity bumps back into western New York.